Ready for a little flower therapy? All you empaths out there, sensitives, creatives, intuitives, and anybody else that's looking to be uplifted, this is the place for you. This is a timeless message, so when it finds you, it is the right time for you to get this message. I welcome you. My name is Nicolette. This is Nicolette's Inspirations, and I like to share things that are inspirational and especially through flowers. So have you found yourself in this constant winter state where you feel stagnant and you feel like the energy around you is just not flowing? You know that it's going to, you can see the possibilities, but it's just not yet time. It's almost like the universe or God is saying, not yet, not yet. And it feels like there's this stagnant energy and this constant waiting period, a, a holding period, almost like a time where there has to be stillness, there has to be quiet. And um, a lot of us are not built that way. A lot of us are not good at waiting, are not good at being patient. So I really wanted to share a little bit with you about um, looking at being in stillness and in a quiet in a different way. My family has been cultivating tulips my entire life. That is what we've done. I got to kind of know the story about a tulip and how they grow and what they, you know, what they represent. So I really wanted to share a little bit about um, how the tulip evolves. Tulips come from bulbs and um, they are awesome because they actually transform themselves from a bulb all the way into a flower. Everything this bulb needs in order to grow in the tulip is already there. As a matter of fact, on the inside of this tulip bulb, there is already the flower, every petal, every stem, every leaf that it's going to be is already inside. If you were to cut this bulb in half, you would actually see the, the small little pieces of what that tulip is gonna be down to the color. What's cool about it is when you plant it, it has to have um, a period of time where it has this dark time and cold. And in order for it to, to actually grow, it has to have a cold, dark period. It already knows that it's going, what it's going to be and that its purpose is to push up to the light, grow through the dark and push up to the light to fully blossom. I think that's amazing. Today I'm going to design some tulips um, and just share a little bit more about, you know, the, the, the beauty and grace of tulips. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching and don't forget, subscribe. So isn't that just amazing and interesting how tulips, you know, they literally have to go through this dark period. If they don't have that struggle, that time period where they have that darkness and that time where they have to grow and they have to push up to the light, that is part of the journey of a tulip. Isn't that interesting how we as humans have the same thing? A tulip is very representative for a lot of people of hope, spring, new beginnings, the new coming of something like spring. So think about your own life and what you've been going through. If you know internally the purpose or the reason why you are going through this struggle, would it make it easier? Because if you know that you're, what your full purpose is, to completely fully blossom in the light, if you know that, would it change when you go through the struggles and the difficulty? I'd love to hear any comments or anything that um, you have as far as what a tulip means to you or if you were to know what your life purpose is and maybe some of you do um, but maybe this message is a reminder that um, you are not alone in this um, you are not alone we are collected and we are all going through this process of growing as a human being and going through many different things but the journey is still something that we do kind of on our own. And sometimes it can feel lonely. But the thing is, we're all going through this together. If you have this knowing, this you know, inner knowing that you know where you're going, your purpose is to grow and push up to the light and fully blossom. That is why we're here. That's what we're doing. And every step of the way is 
the perfect time. So even when a tulip is growing from the bulb, even when they're in the darkness, their purpose as, as to where they're at at that moment in time is exactly where they need to be in order to grow forward. The tulip still has to have the right conditions in order to um, grow. And so they need a certain amount of water, they need a certain environment, they need to have that, that period of time, that stillness, that darkness, they have to have that in order to have, have enough strength, have enough um, time to build this energy. Because once they get up to the surface and into that light, they have to have endure a lot more than when they're underground. The journey is, is, you know, can be difficult, but man, look at what you did in the end. Look at the beauty that happens when they keep growing and they keep going into their fullest potential. And so, you know, hopefully this message and you know, learning that being in the stillness and allowing it and give yourself grace, give yourself time to grow and to have that quiet time. Um, allow yourself to, you know, accept where you're at in this very moment to appreciate and enjoy that time wherever you're at. It doesn't matter if you're in the dark, if you're creating a foundation or roots, if you're pushing up and really growing um, and pushing outside of what you have transformed. That's the cool thing about tulip bulbs is by the time that that tulip bulb has, has bloomed, that flower has bloomed, down underneath the ground, there's a whole new tulip bulb that has developed. That old bulb no longer exists. So it's like this massive like transformation that happens and it's like a resurrection. It's like a, um, you know, a renewal. And that's personally why I love tulips so much. I just find them so fascinating. And just their story of what they do and what they have to endure in order to grow and to become what they are supposed to and meant to be. You're perfect where you are in this very moment. You are amazing. You matter. And wherever you're at in your life, Give yourself grace, give yourself love, give yourself that period of time where you need to be still. When you're in the stillness, that's when you get clarity. That's when you get perspective. That's when you open yourself up to things that you may not see when you're busy, when you're distracted. Man, when you're in that stillness, it's like allowing the messages to come to you. That's when you put yourself in the receiving mode of being able to hear, see, and get the messages that are out there for you from the higher purpose, from higher guidance. So anyway, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for you know tuning in. Um, please again, share this with a friend. Um, there's a lot of people out there that could use a little inspiring and hope and joy and um, Wow, this this time has been something else um, and sometimes I need reminders myself in order to really give myself that grace and understanding of, of Where you know where we're at this life is not meant to be easy uh, but boy, can you get some joy when you fully blossom. Look at these beautiful, amazing tulips. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.